Hello Virgo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 30th of April. Your communications with others come under the astral spotlight this week on the back of a full moon in the sign of Scorpio, where of course Jupiter, the planet of growth and optimism, is already located. This full moon suggests it is going to be important to choose your words with a degree of care, but that's not saying you wouldn't normally do so, because you can be one of the most thought thought of all the zodiac signs. When you do decide to speak about something, you can make your point very succinctly and in a way which others often sit up and take notice about. But there may be something about a debate or a conversation you have over the next couple of weeks, which is about how you want to change your life. So it's possible you're wanting to be more expansive and open up your situation in a much more enterprising way. If that's the case, it may be that someone you need to talk to about this could be the one who's being a bit resistant to some of the ideas you have. However, in the first half of this week, the Sun is forging a terrific angle with the structural planet Saturn. Now, of course, Saturn's in your fifth solar house, which isn't always a transit that creates a lot of fun. But you have Pluto here as well, the planet of transformation. And this link, actually, between Saturn and the Sun can be very anchoring. So if you are making some changes, expanding your world, being more adventurous, the chances are you're going to do it in a way which can be long-lasting and provide some tangible results. It's unlikely to be in an airy-fairy way. You'll want to see solid evidence of progress. Now, in the second half of this week, the Sun's forging a great link with Neptune. If you do decide to book to go on some kind of holiday, if it can be to someone that's exotic or different or truly interesting, perhaps from an architectural or philosophical or historical viewpoint, that could just be as pleasing as going somewhere that's a tr traditional warm, swimmy, uh, sunshiny type of break. And if you can go away with someone who you really feel comfortable with, then that's even better still. Some kind of uh, inf information or seeing yourself become better informed can happen on the back of this aspect. You may even do some reading and discover new ways of looking at things that can be very good for you, even from a spiritual or therapeutic viewpoint. Now Mercury, your ruler, of course, slammed on the brakes on the 23rd of March through to the 15th of April in the part of your scope that's to do with long-term financial planning, shared resources, banking, savings, investments, insurances, all these kind of things. But it finally emerges from shadow, so it goes back to the point where the retrograde first began, began 16 degrees Aries, at the end of this week. If there has been some kind of saga that's been going on around something that involves these strands, the chances are it can start to unravel in a more positive way. But this week also sees the North Node, the point of destiny, which is in a very psychological part of your scope, also linking in with this full moon. So the discussions you have won't necessarily just be at an intellectual level. They will be ones that could see you needing to listen to your senses and be very intuitive to other people too. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video. Or if you've yet to do so, subscribe to my channel. But for now, goodbye. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.